Hi, we're back again with yet another episode of LND Snippets. We have an interesting topic again, this time about learning. But before I talk more about uh, today's topic, let me ask you a question. I'm sure most of us have flown to different parts of the globe, or different parts of the country on different occasions. And on some occasions, many of us may have been seated next to an emergency exit. So every time we sit next to an emergency exit, the air hostess, air hostess comes to us and explains to us how to operate the emergency exit at the time of an emergency. The question I'm going to ask you is, at the time of an emergency, how many of us can really operate the emergency exit? I'm sure the honest answer for many of us would be that we cannot operate the emergency exit at the time of need. But why? When the air hostess with great honesty and sincerity and with all intent explains to us, teaches us how to operate the emergency exit, why can't we operate it? Well, irrespective of what the answer is, this example tells us something very profound, very powerful. What it tells us is people learn only when they want to learn. We cannot force them or make them learn. That's exactly the topic of today's episode. Why people want to learn or why people do not want to learn. What motivates people to learn? So let's learn more about today's topic. So coming to motivation for learning. Motivation for learning can be categorized into two. One is intrinsic motivation, other one is extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation or extrinsic motivation determines why people want to learn. Now, let's understand intrinsic motivation a little more. Intrinsic motivation is something which comes from within. It's the inner desire of the individual to learn. It's the drive that comes from within. Intrinsic motivation does not require any external stimuli or trigger. There are three drivers of intrinsic motivation, and I call them the three P's. The first P is pleasure. The second P is passion. The third P is purpose. Let's understand what pleasure of learning is all about. So when somebody is, is motivated to learn for the safe, sheer pleasure of learning, for the sheer happiness of learning, that is a very powerful intrinsic motivation to learn. People, some people want to learn or they learn just for the sheer pleasure or the happiness they derive out of learning. That's the first P. They want to get enlightened. They love the wisdom they acquire through the learning process. They love the knowledge they receive in the process. And that really makes them happy and delighted. And that drives them to learn more. The second P is passion. If you're passionate about something, you will do everything possible to learn that. Tendulkar was passionate about cricket. So if he got a hundred or got out for zero in a match, next day he was back at the net practice. That was the passion he had for the game of cricket. And that drove him to learn cricket all the time. So if you're passionate about anything, mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, music, public speaking, athletics, whatever you're passionate about, you would have an intrinsic drive to learn that. The third P is purpose. It's a larger objective. It's a larger mission. When you believe that if you acquire some knowledge with which you can give back to the society, you can make a difference to your country, to your society, to your community, to your organization, to your team, that larger purpose might drive you to new learning, to new knowledge. That's a very powerful intrinsic motivation example. So these are the three P's which are key drivers of intrinsic motivation. Generally, intrinsic motivation is about a selfless desire to learn. 
you don't learn uh, in expectation of something. So these are examples of intrinsic motivation. Now let's talk about extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation, as I said earlier, is always driven by an external trigger, an external stimuli, an external factor. Again, um, there are three drivers of extrinsic motivation, and I call them the three R's. The first R is returns. The second R is reputation. The third R is risk. So these are the three drivers of extrinsic motivation. So let's understand what returns is all about. So when we learn something and we expect something in return, that's an example of how a desire for a return can drive us to learn something. So for example, um, if you think that if you learn something, you will get a job, a new skill set will help you get a new job or, or a better job than you have today. Or if you believe that uh, if you learn something, acquire a new certification or qualification, you might get a promotion or you might get an increment in your, in your salary. Um, these are expectations for some returns. So if I learn this, in return, I'm going to get this. That's an example of extrinsic motivation, the first driver of extrinsic motivation. Now let's look at the second driver, the reputation. All of us want to be popular. All of us want to be recognized. All of us want to become known. So sometimes um, some people look at learning as a strategy or as a tool to become known, popular, well-known, noted. And it's a very powerful driver, powerful extrinsic um, driver. And many people just learn for the sake of becoming known and popular. They believe that if they learn something, they can stand out in the midst of the public. They can really... Uh, make a niche for themselves. So that desire to uh, become reputed is another extrinsic driver for learning. The third R is risk. Uh, this is not about um, uh, not the hope for getting something, but it's the risk of losing something. So if we believe that if we don't acquire this knowledge, or if you don't acquire this qualification or certification, there is a likelihood that you might lose something. You might lose your job. You might lose a promotion opportunity. Uh, you might lose um, uh, probably a salary increment opportunity. Or you might lose out some benefits. So the sheer risk of losing something can also be an external uh, driver for learning. So these are the three R's. Our returns, reputation, risk. These three R's are three drivers of extrinsic motivation to learn. So today we saw um, examples of intrinsic motivation for learning and extrinsic motivation for learning. We understood what are the drivers that really make people want to learn or do not want to learn. So uh, we'll continue this journey. We will continue our discussion on different topics in learning learning and development, uh, which will be beneficial to L&D practitioners. In one of our future uh, episodes, we'll talk about what L&D practitioners can do differently to make people want to learn. What are the intrinsic drivers of learning and what are the extrinsic drivers that they can influence and how? Um, keep watching L&D Snippets. Thank you very much.